Welcome back. More than 30,000 of the world's leading cancer experts all joining together for the annual meeting of the American Society of Clinical Oncology. Here now to tell us more about what they've been talking about and what they've been discovering is Dr. Bruce Roth. He's joining us now from that conference that's ongoing in Chicago. Doctor, go, uh, go ahead and tell us what's the biggest breakthrough, uh, breakthrough that you've seen uh, from this year's meeting. Some exciting stuff out there? Uh, some very exciting things. There are a couple, uh, and this is part of our precision medicine uh, buzzword that you'll hear from this meeting. One is a treatment in uh, breast cancer uh, that's essentially a smart bomb uh, called TDM1 uh, that uh, finds breast cancer cells selectively, uh, is incorporated in the cells, and then releases a toxin and kills those cells selectively. So not only does that provide improved benefit for uh, the patient, but also less toxicity because less normal cells are being um, targeted. Um, and then another uh, very interesting approach uh, is uh, stimulating the patient's own immune system to try to fight the cancer uh, with an agent directed at a substance called PD-1 on patient's immune cells. So it's a completely different approach to treating the cancer. Instead of treating the cancer cells directly, it's treating the patient's immune system to try to stimulate it to fight its own cancer. That uh, breast cancer uh, study that you just uh, talked about a few moments ago, getting a lot of press here today. A lot of people obviously hoping that this is the magic bullet we've been all been waiting for. But the big question with any of these findings or treatments, how soon will these actually be impacting patients? What's the timetable for some of these? So the, the study that was presented for TD1, uh, TDM1 is actually a, a registration trial. And so now we have to go through the regulatory process of getting it through the Oncology Drug Advisory Committee, the FDA. Uh, I think people's best estimates would be that that would take uh, six to nine months um, before it became available to uh, patients with breast cancer. Okay, well, we certainly... Uh... Now, now, before that time, there may be clinical trials that patients can get on if they uh, want to um, access uh, that particular drug. And, you know, Know, certainly, if patients want more information, they can go onto cancer.net and, and try to find some of those sites. Well, your point is well taken. We've done some stories out here in the Cincinnati area about some local research that's being done. And uh, uh, to your point, it does take often uh, several years before some of these things get out of a petri dish and are actually uh, even close to becoming uh, approved by the FDA. Well, we want to thank you for your time. Thanks for bringing us uh, some positive news on the health front this noon. Also, want to thank ASCO for providing this satellite time live again from Chicago. Doctor, thanks for your time. Thank you, Lance.